welcome back to Auto Transport Intel. I'm Jay. I'm going to be your dispatcher for the day. Um, you're a car hauler. You're looking for loads. Maybe you're new. You've been around a while. The longer you've been in car hauling, the less you're going to need a load board like Central Dispatch. Ready Auto Transport's one dispatch. And, uh, you know, it's a good load board. I like this because you can book cars after hours. Um, you don't have to call anybody, talk to anybody on the phone. You can actually wait 10 minutes to get a vehicle for a little bit more money. One dispatch is great. And they have a lot of loads, too. So not as many as Central Dispatch, but a lot to choose from. Which really, that's the problem with, you know, like third-party load boards, fourth-party, fifth-party, like brokers that try to get load boards going. The reason it doesn't work out is because there's just not enough loads to look at. Cars Arrive has a lot of loads because Cars Arrive is owned by Cox Automotive. It's a lot of relationships. It's a large company. So they've got tons of cars listed. I think if you buy at Mannheim, you by default can list on Cars Arrive. Before you start dispatching, you've got to get familiar with the load boards and your driver's information. We'll do driver's info another time, but this is just focused on load boards. So, all right, let's go into the account and let's start looking for cars. Now, I'm used to the old look. You know, you can switch it up here by clicking in the upper right-hand corner, but I'm going to go to the new look because these are new times. It's a new day, and I mean, they must have made the new look for some reason. I know a lot of people use... Excuse me. I know a lot of people use the old look, like everybody. All right, find shipments. We're going to search vehicles. We're going to start with his hometown, Youngstown, Ohio. I did a radius of 100, but then, man, I'm seeing stuff like I'm seeing New York. I'm seeing so much stuff. You know, ideally, a car hauler, like, picks up near the house. So 25-mile radius still is kind of small for car hauling. But I'm going to just go ahead, I'm going to do 50. Because 100, I'm just seeing too much. I know that he wants to basically pull out of his driveway and pick up his cars. So even searching a 50 mile radius, man, that's huge. But we want to see the good stuff. I've got, man, i got way too many. By, su by searching regions, I've got three regions selected. And all the states included in those regions. That is so huge. I'll tell you what, I already know that uh, this car hauler, I'm going to go through the states. Uh, we like to, you know, this is where you get into choosing your route. I know that, you know, having Google Maps handy, of course. Let's, uh, let's close that. I know that a good running lane for uh, this car hauler, first of all, you got to go at least 500 miles. If you're going to, how do I best say this? You don't have to, anything I say, you don't have to do. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to listen to me. Um, I know car haulers that travel local, and that's all they do, and they're home every night, and that's awesome. Um, but I'm kind of a, as a dispatcher, obviously, here's the problem. I get paid on a commission, a percentage of every load that I book that he delivers going crazy over here and so um you know i want him to drive i want him to pull in large dollar amounts but i also think he does too because we know that if you work local um there is a ceiling to how much money you can make a day whereas if you travel 500 to a thousand miles that seems to be the sweet spot where you're looking at you know either do a rubber band you know delivery backhaul or do a triangle but that's the kind of thing i look for so there's my reasoning there if we're up here near cleveland man i want to get to like oklahoma arkansas texas louisiana mississippi alabama i'm not going to go to florida now here we go let's do arkansas let's just see what there is right now arkansas kansas Missouri, Mississippi. See, so you click. If you click it again, it unchecks it. Uh, you know, that's pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. 
We got our we have our pickup. We have our delivery. All right, all vehicles definitely running. We are an open trailer. We do not want to see enclosed loads. We're a wedge. Minimum one, maximum three. I don't want to see full loads. Uh, ready for the next seven days? Sure. Normally I do like two to three, but I'm going to do seven right now. Show a hundred. Ooh yeah. I want to see one hour new one hour or newer loads highlighted and let's go ahead and search okay i got 36 the reason it's so low and really a good core sample is about 100 so 36 i'm on the low side i'm not gonna have a lot to choose from uh these are highlighted these are new but if i were to do this search just as a comparison of how many loads are on these load boards if i do the same search on ready auto definitely not going to be 36 so, uh, all right, here's what we're seeing. 600, 650. All right, first I'm looking at the money, of course. But you can tell why. Here we go. Look at this one. You know why this is paying so much? Because it's a tank. It's a Hummer. All right, and you're going to notice that. Oh, look at this. They snuck it in there. Two vehicles for 650. No thanks. That's not cool. I mean, okay, you can do whatever you want. Uh, Toyota Tacoma, regular cab, 675, 50 cents a mile. You know, for a truck, I want more than 50 cents a mile. Nissan Altima paying 68 cents a mile in his hometown. Going to Atlanta. COD, that's pretty cool. Ready to go ASAP. Hmm, I like that. All right, so I'm going to check that one. That's interesting to me. All right, so and that goes to Atlanta. So we got to keep track of what we're looking at here. 280, 275, that's too low. Two, how much is that paying? To 48 cents a mile to Bridgeton, Missouri, which is St. Louis area. See, in St. Louis, and that's another thing, man, you got to think about what city you're dropping off in because you drop in St. Louis, I don't know, man, that's tough. Like, can you get back from St. Louis to? No. And that's why, you know, anything can change at any time. Again, anything I say could be wrong at any time based on who I'm talking to. Who are we go? Youngstown? North Canton, West of Youngstown, going to Dallas, 550 for a Camry. I like that. Now, and when I make these videos, and we're going to wrap this up here in a second, but when I make these videos, um, here's the thing is that I, I'm not going to bash brokers. As I'm going to try not to. See, the thing is, in the triangle of broker, car hauler, dispatcher, we're all kind of, it's a triangle. Brokers are trying to keep money. Drivers are trying to get that money. The dispatcher tries to pull the money out of the broker, give it to the driver, because really it's going to help him. So, and the broker, sometimes brokers don't want to deal with a dispatch. They just want to go straight to the driver. So you got to understand those dynamics. Oh, look at this. Super Duty F550. Don't do it, dude. Do not haul an F550. Forget it. That's like a. You want to see what you want to see what that is, and then we're gonna end this video. So you can copy, and that's the thing too. You're gonna to do a lot of check the curb weight, check the height, check the length, because then you're gonna see where it loads. Look at this bad boy, an F550. Okay, now granted, if it's a flatbed, like it has no bed. That's not bad, because then you're just dealing with length and weight and height, of course. But I'm dealing with a three-car wedge, so that's easy. But um, if you do book an F550, you got to find out. If it's got one of these customized flatbeds or a steak bed or a bucket, you know, it's amazing how heavy that stuff gets. Or maybe it's like a nap-hide U-body, and then you're like, this is heavy, dude. There's so much to get right each vehicle, the timing and everything. So, yeah, we're going to keep talking about it. I hope it helps you. Um, I hope you find it entertaining. I hope you find it educational. This is Auto Transport Intel. I'm Jay, and you take care. I hope you enjoy. Uh, please like and comment. Thanks a lot.